Hey guys, what's up? Today I filmed a little monochrome, a little spicy bell pepper look for you today. Um, I just used the Naked Heat palette. Um, I found a dupe in this video and I also put in a little mini vlog of me and my cousins getting um, lunch and catching up for the first time in a long time. So if you want to see that, then keep on watching. Forget to like, subscribe, turn on the little bell notifications. Uh, so you don't miss any. I'm sorry I have hiccups. <laughs> but don't forget to like, like and subscribe if you like this content. Let me know what you'd like to see. Do you like the vlogs? Do you not? Let me know. Is it recording? This camera is so cool. Okay. I am going to start with the makeup that goes with this kind of red dress that I have on. I was going to film this yesterday, but... A bunch of crazy things happened with my camera yesterday and big long big story long story short I have a new camera it's better quality I think and um, hope and I can see myself it like flips up so I can see myself um, so I can see when my top comes down and all that um, I'm gonna use I was gonna use this elf glow stick primer yesterday but that didn't work out and because today I'm going to be taking pictures outside, I want to use something a little more gripping that won't let me make my makeup slide around because it is stupid hot here. So first I'm going to go in with my sunscreen SPF 35 because I appreciate protecting my skin from the sun's harsh rays. And I also bring that onto my neck. And now I look like a little tomato. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sink in for a couple of seconds while I talk about this primer. The thing about the Milk Hydro Primer is that you really have to rub it in because the first time I got it, I really hated it. It did not make my lip, my makeup look good. It made my makeup look cakey. Um, it would settle weird into my pores. Like instead of diminishing my pores, it would accentuate them. Uh, and I figured out it was because I was using it wrong. It was user error, as it most of the time it usually is. So I'm just gonna take about a pump and a half. It's kind of green really cute but you have to massage it in for it to get tacky that's what i read on the web on under sephora it'll say like how to use in the instructions and that's where i read that you have to rub it in for a minute because nowhere on the packaging does it say that i think i'm gonna vlog the rest of my day because me and my cousin are gonna go eat we're gonna go take pictures i think it's a cute spot so I think we might go take pictures there. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm usually going with the LA Girl Pro Concealer first because my under eye bags are usually terrible. I sleep, guys. I really do. But I feel like I fall asleep in the wrong part of my sleep. Or I wake up in the wrong part of my sleep. And it looks like I don't get any. And it's just a peach concealer and it it'll cancel out my dark circles most of the time sometimes they're really bad and like industrial strength couldn't help me out okay next i'm gonna go in with my jeffree star concealer in the shade c9 it's my favorite concealer i love it so much and I go in with it before my foundation because I find that it leaves you looking more natural instead of whenever you put on your foundation first and then you go on with your concealer over it, you get this kind of brightness that doesn't look natural. But if you do it under your foundation, then your foundation kind of covers it up and everything blends more seamlessly. And you don't have that weird uh, triangle that you would otherwise. And I blend it in with my finger because it just blends in better, I find, than when I use a sponge. I don't want the coverage under my eyes to be sheared out if I use a sponge. Like, it'll be sheared out and then it won't give me that full coverage 
that I want under there and then you'll still see my under eye bag and I'm not gonna be happy, you know? And then I take whatever is left on my finger and I take it in other places. Okay, and then if the, if I have some spots that are um, poking out, I will go in and cover them up with the concealer as well. And I'll still go in and blend my ring finger. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her, my cousin, in so long and she's on her way. So I feel like she'll be in this kind of section that we're doing right now uh, because, yeah, she's going to show up in the middle of it. I think she's going to show up in like 20 minutes or so. Or maybe I'll be done. I think I'll be done by then. So now I'm going to go in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I used it or I reviewed it in my last video, which was my first video, and I really liked it. And I liked how it looked with the sponge applicator. instead of the brush which is weird because i usually gravitate towards brushes when i'm doing my foundation but not today not today not with this foundation i just find it wears better it's also this looks amazing like the way i know if a foundation looks good is i'll get in my car and i'll pull down the little mirror and I'll look at myself because I feel like that mirror doesn't lie about your makeup, you know? Or am I weird? Does anybody else do that? I'm gonna take the rest that was on my hand and blend it down my neck so I am even. I also put some primer down there so it won't escape. Okay, I only did one pump, but I feel like that was enough for um, the coverage that I look for. Next, I'm going to let that set while I go on to do other things. Like my eyeshadow. I'm not doing a grand eyeshadow look today. I'm just going to do very simple. And I think I'm going to use the Naked Heat Palette because I'm wearing red and I'm gonna do kind of a monochrome look on my face but nothing nothing um, the morphe m441 brush it's just a little you know and I'm gonna use the shade low blow and put that into my crease And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Chaser, ooh, right here. And I'm gonna take that on my finger and just set my lid. With another Morphe 504, M504 brush, I'm gonna take the shade Sauced right here, or yeah, it's this one, Sauced. And I'm going to deepen up the crease. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to do on my eyes. Now I'm going to go in and powder. Finally. I usually just use my Jeffree Star. my Jeffree Star um, and the shade Translucent because whenever I went to go buy my shade, everybody had already gone at that section and I was left with the uh, Translucent. But it's the best powder, I promise. And I like to have um, a dewy face, so I will set under my eyes, um, around my nose, my chin, my forehead which has been like 
a spotlight right here for this entire video until I've said it. But with the foundation, there's still like luminosity around it. Around my nose. I really make sure to go into the creases of my nose because it will move and crease and sweat and I don't want to do that today. And then last but not least, my actual nose nose. And I haven't touched this area yet. I hope I sound okay. Two days ago, I went to the Shawn Mendes concert and I screamed. Anytime he opened his mouth, I screamed. I was that person at that concert and I don't care. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go with the Fenty bronzer and the shade Island Ting. Ting. And I'm gonna just lightly go in with this Morphe Domi brush. I don't think, I don't, it doesn't have a name on it. It just says Morphe in rose gold. And just take a little bit of it and bronze. I'm going to Miami in a couple weeks, so pretty soon I'm not going to need bronzer because I'm going to be very, very tan. I get super, super, super tan whenever I go. Whenever I go anywhere, that requires me to sit in the sun, stand in the sun, walk in the sun. Okay, finished bronzing. Now I'm going to... Do some blush. I'm gonna go with my MAC Peach Twist blush. She's here. Do you wanna pop your head in? No, it's okay, go ahead. Are you sure? You're gonna come out later anyways. Sure, I'll come in later. With the Real Techniques Dome Brush. Oh, he's barking. I feel like my dog's gonna bark. I'm just gonna put that on the apples of my cheek. And on my nose too. I like it when the blush sweeps across because that's just natural. That's how I blush naturally. And I've seen a lot of YouTube YouTubers do it now lately. Rough indeed, rough, rough indeed. With the e.l.f. Um, glow highlighter and I've been wanting to film for two days now. And I haven't been able to. And now my dog is barking. I'm so sorry. I don't see anybody talking about these highlighters. They're creamy. And they're so nice and pigmented. You'll see right now. Like already, like what? I think it was like, I think it was $6, but I went crazy when e.l.f. did the 50% off everything because I had had my eye on this glow collection for such a long time. And I got almost all of it. The dewy spray is insane. It will make you super duper dewy. So I am very, very careful with that one. A little on my nose. And some of my cupid's bow. And I'm done with the cheeks and the face. I just need to finish up my eyes and do my lips. And then I will be done and we will go eat because I'm starving. Me too. Okay. Do you want to go eat pluckers? Sure. <laughs> I'm still I'm still closed, I promise. Okay. Use two mascaras. I use the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara, and then I still have a sample of my Monsier Big Lancome Mascara. And I love the Lancome one. I'm gonna have to buy the big one. But it just hurts to buy an expensive mascara. Like, do you know what I mean? It hurts. Cause you're like, it'll be done in six months. But I haven't found a drugstore one that does what the Lancome one does. before I finish that, I'm gonna take a little bit of my ColourPop Virgo single. Look at how pretty the Maiden is. Like, I think 
I bought it for the packaging, but also I'm a Virgo, so it worked out nicely. It's just the brown color, and I usually take that and line my upper lash line. I don't really care how even my wings are with this eyeshadow because I do it solely for the lash line. Okay, they look pretty even to me. I'm gonna go and recurl again. And I usually lay down the base with the L'Oreal mascara. Oh man, I hope I don't look stupid. I'm getting some on my lid, but that's okay because I'm going to go in with a Q-tip or a brush or something and I'm just going to wipe it off. I love this so much. And now I'm gonna go with the little Monsier Big. Monsieur? Monsier. I hear it both ways. And then I'm gonna go in and layer that up for volume. Because my lashes have never had that much volume. I don't know how to accurately show you how long they are right now, but I'm happy. If they look like this, then I'm happy. And then I'm gonna go with my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Overboard and quickly line my waterline. It's a little pretty gold color. And then I'll go in with the L'Oreal Mascara and do my lower lash line just a little bit because I don't like for it to transfer and now we have the lips which is the last step finally because I'm hungry and I'm debating between Mac devoted to chili which is like this blurred chili color or the ColourPop 21 questions um, color, which is also I think I found a dupe. What? Like a straight up dupe. Which, what is that? This is ColourPop 21 questions and that's um, Mac devoted to chili. Don't you like ColourPop better? No, I love ColourPop, but I also love Mac. But these colors look exactly the same. Or am I tripping? No, it's like the Anastasia, the brown one, with the NYX. It's exactly the same. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, then in that case, I'll just use... Oh, Jackie's calling us. Shall we answer? Hello? I just got out. Are the lashes? Did you get classic? No, I got the go eye, but I came to like a different one here in Sugarland. Like a small would be a longer. I mean, they look like they look pretty and like natural, but like my lashes. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing worse than not liking your lashes. <laughs> El, el brillo del cuerpo. Lipstick y este son la misma cosa y este cuesta 19 y este cuesta 7. Es el mismo color y el mismo tipo de finish. Vas a mandar a la chingada Leon King. No, no, es no Lion King. El otro. No, no, el Mac, este es Mac. No. Color Pop is coming from everybody's necks, I'm telling you. But I'm still going to use a Mac one, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I already have it. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna lightly. Ah! I can't get peace in this house. The ones that know that, that know me know this already. 
Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna put the other one on the outer corners of my lips to see if it makes any difference. There's no difference. Okay, y'all heard it here. MAC devoted to chili and ColourPop 21 questions are the exact same thing. And now I'm just gonna go in with a lip gloss. Can you people stop coming in here? Can you make lessons? Hi. You're gonna have to move all out. Gonna I know, I'm gonna have to put the captions well, in there. How are you? Good, pretty good. That's good, nice beard. Very nice beard. I'm so sorry. We're trying to get rid of the beard. Oh. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna look for my gloss and I'm just gonna speed and cut that part out. Okay, I can't find my ColourPop Princess Cut lip gloss, but I'm just gonna go in with the Glossier. This is the clear lip gloss, but look, I only use it on top of red lipsticks, so it has like a red tint now. And they just came out with a red tinted uh, gloss. But look at how pretty that is. It makes my lips look like glass. That's so pretty. Okay, this video is not 30 minutes. Okay, and last but not least, I'm just gonna set everything with the L'Oreal Unfollowable Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender. Okay, now I think I'm gonna vlog the rest of our day and it's gonna be so fun. Okay, apparently this thing cuts you off at 30 minutes. I didn't know that. But I set my face and now we're gonna go to Pluckers. Oh, we're gonna wait for our other cousin and then we're gonna go to Pluckers. But I think I'm gonna take Build. Oh, superb. I was watching a YouTuber and she was talking about Mac Whisper of Guild. And I think I got that in my head. But no, I'm gonna take Superb and bring it onto my body. So that way the whole dewiness doesn't look odd when I see your matte chest. Pro tip. Okay, and here's my shirt. <laughs> okay, bye. So it is 12.53 and we are waiting for Jacqueline, Jake Quillen to get here so we can go. Hey. And she's super hungry over there. I'm actually starving right now. I'm starving too. And my lashes are so <laughs> <laughs> We are debating on where we're gonna go eat. <laughs> queso and she's got pickles over there take another bite out of it let me zoom in 